Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to Factorio Friday. So like I said before, uh, we're going to be playing a couple of different games in May just to try out some different things. And this is called uh, Factorio. Um, now this game basically is building a big factory. And I've actually played it a lot already, uh, believe it or not. And uh, where should we start? With coal? Or... Sure, we'll just go with coal. Actually, the first thing I want to do is... Uh, I want to build... where is it? There he is. A pickaxe. So basically this game is... Basically what all it boils down to is... It is building a factory, basically. And what I want to do is... Uh, we can do this in here for the time being. And that will just put coal in there. So, it's basically just building a factory. And the game is pretty intense. It doesn't look intense right now. The game has a slow start to it, and um, and that's fine. Where am I here? So as you can see, I had this huge bubble around me. That is actually not part of the stock game. That is uh, my mod. I'm actually running quite a few mods. Uh, I've actually played this game quite a bit already, to be honest with you. Uh, like 60 hours worth already. Um, I just never recorded any of it. So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of Factorio and what it's like and uh, what you can do with it. Um, so I have a couple of mods in here. Uh, one of the mods I have in here is this, see this whole light, this bubble of light around me? That is, um, it's basically a mod from, I don't know what you can call it, it's a, basically for YouTubers essentially. So people who, uh, people who uh, want to, what do I need here, stone probably. Uh, people who want to record Factorio basically. Um, and because it has this whole like aspect where you, uh, it doesn't look this, it doesn't look this nice or this much light in it when you actually uh, uh, record it normally. And there's actually just a cone of light when you're recording, and it's pretty ridiculous actually. Uh, this is stone, I imagine. That's oil. Oh, there it is, stone. Ooh, that's gonna be a bit annoying. So basically, what the I have a couple mods in here. Let me talk about some of the mods I have installed. Right now, I have uh, one called RSO, which is oh gosh, what's it called? Spawn overload, resources spawn overload. I think that's what it's called. I uh, have to think about that now. I think that's what it is, anyways. Anyways, uh, what I have, uh, I have that one installed. I have Farrell installed, which is like for trains, which is awesome, and I'll show you that later on. Um, there, I also have. Uh, what does that have? Long reach, autofill, I think I have. I'd have to go through all the mods. Can I actually go through them here? Options, uh, other, no. Controls, no. I thought I could go through. No, oh, I guess I have to go to, uh, I have to quit the game. Well, I can still show you them. I'll save it as the first factory, and I'll just show you uh, quit game, yes. So here are the mods I have installed. I have uh, Alien Science, which allows me to make some science, autofill, auto trash, which is awesome, uh, evolution factor indicator, so this shows me how much the biters, which are like your enemy in this game, fully automated rail layer, which is Farl, uh, faster filter, fast filter, foreman mod, initial scan, landfill, larger inventory, long reach, more light, which is the one I talked about before, the rail tanker, which gives you oil you can put in a tanker, which is awesome, resource spawner overhaul, that's what it is. Uh, RSO and the fat controller, train position and length fix, tree collision, upgrade planner, and yet another resource monitor. Anyway, so that's what we got installed in um, uh, in this particular series I'm going to do. Uh, so this is going to be similar as the other series. It's going to be a um, four-part series. And if you guys like the, the game, I'll play some more on it. I, I might just if you don't if you guys don't like it, which is possible. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are into farm sim and like uh, vehicle simulation type scenarios. This one's definitely not that at all, and that's fine. Uh, what do I need here? I need iron gears. Oh, I need some iron plates. Okay, um, and that's fine. I have no problems with that. Um, this is one of the games I like playing. Uh, one of the games I like playing um, that I picked up a while ago. Uh, it's actually just released on Steam not too long ago actually uh, came out on Steam oh, a month maybe ago something like that it's actually been out for a long time already people have done like whole series this is still considered I think an alpha uh, if memory serves uh, which is ridiculous I actually need iron um, so let me let me do 
this then. Um, iron's like the one of the key resources in this game. It's ridiculous how much you actually need iron. Like you need it all of the time. Um, let's do this and then do that. Uh, so see how it automatically fills those? Um, so that is, that is what the autofill does. So it just automatically fills those things. Now eventually, I don't have to do any of this manual stuff at some point, but the starting of the game is a little bit slow. So you do have to do some of this type of stuff. Like, I need to make another one of these. You do need to do some of this stuff. And you notice what I just made there? I made like a pickaxe. Uh, because once you make a pickaxe, it makes your life so, so much easier. Um, because like, if you don't have a pickaxe to start off with, you like trying to get rid of these trees, for example, is just silly. All right, so you should have some of these. Grab those. Uh, can I make another one of these yet? I need a stone furnace. What do I need for a stone? I need more stone. So, like I said, the initial like stages are a bit slow, and they actually say that in on the website as well. Um, uh, they actually say on the website, you know, if you're going to record on the series, you know, keep in mind that the starting parts are a little bit slow, and then it goes from there. And I, I'm just kind of introducing the game to you guys a little bit. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about Resource Spawn Overhaul, uh, which is kind of an interesting game, interesting mod. Basically what it does is it uh, gives you all your main resources close to where you spawn. So as you can see right here, I have stone. Uh, there's oil right around me here too. And I have iron and copper. So those are like your, your starting resources. And what happens is uh, once you get past those starting resources, good, we can make one of those. Once you get past your starting resources, then you're going to deplete them. The whole point of the game is you, you end up use more resources, build a bigger factory, essentially how it works. All right, so we have water really close to us too, which is kind of good. Um, so here's what it looks like. There's a little bit of water there and a little bit of water all up here. You can see the mini map. Uh, we can't do any research yet because we haven't created anything really. Um, this is kind of like getting the initial resources and I, this is annoying because that's, that stone's so far away, but eventually it will make a difference. Right now it's annoying because I have to go back and forth, but eventually it will make no difference whatsoever. All right, so now we have some more iron. Perfect. So as you can see, there's a little bit of this going on already. So let's go and I have, I can make three of these. Perfect. Let's uh, make two. As you can see, I can walk around and craft things like I see, like I see down here, which is awesome. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, these two guys working away here. Uh, so I want this guy and I want this guy. So what I'm doing here is basically what's happening is these guys auto eject what their inventory. So this guy's putting his inventory into here and vice versa. And that's not going to work because he has wood and so does he. So there they go. So I'm going to keep doing that, which is good for us. And I want to go and I want to get some of this, which I want to go straight into a stone furnace like so. And I'm going to put all the wood I have in there. So what that's, what that's going to do is this guy is going to fill their inventory slowly. What's going to happen is eventually they'll get to a point where they can't use all the coal. So like these guys mine just a bit faster than they use it. So they'll keep putting coal in each other. So then we'll be able to use the coal for other things eventually. So this guy put some of that in there so we need the copper plates so what we want to do eventually is uh, we want to create uh, a few different things and one of the things we need to create is uh, one of these labs to get our you know our whole resources started basically so we need we, we want to eventually create steam engines as well which creates electricity which makes our lives a lot easier as you can see we have these conveyor belt type things which do what they you would expect them to do it's just like minecraft they move things around um, there we go. So they move things around. And uh, that's I, every time I press shift as if I want to sprint around the map. Eventually, you can get upgrades that make it go faster, which is nice. Uh, so this is that long reach mod I was talking about before. So like now I can, I was able to normally in the, in the basic game, you can't do that at all. You can't reach that far whatsoever. All right, so we have also these burner inserters and regular inserters, and those do a couple different things. Basically, they take items off the belt and put them into other things. So what we want to do is we want to make electric drills, but before, before we can even do that, we need to, uh, can we make what I want to make yet? Uh, no, electric circuits, so we probably need some more copper still, and some belts. 
So we need 36. Yeah, so we still need some more of these. But I'm gonna start out, because what happens is once you get started on a lab, your life will be easier. Um, get some more of these. Can I make one yet? Nope, still need some more copper or iron. So what we'll do is we'll do another one of these. And then I'll go grab some more stone while we're at it. So the game is a bit of a slow start, but once you get past the initial stages, like it gets super, super quick. So what I've done is I've made it so the biters, which is like the, the they uh, they attack you uh, throughout the throughout the game, and I basically just have said I'm not going to attack you. You don't attack me. I don't attack you, sort of thing. So because it's not, I don't know, I. It's a component of the game that I'm, I really am really like, ah, whatever. That doesn't bother me one way or another. I really prefer just the uh, just the, the factory building side of things, uh, which is why I'm, which is why I, didn't, I just made it so I didn't have to worry about them. All right, uh, I need some more stone. I'm gonna need more stone because I needed uh, some more of these. It's an everlasting. You, you find you need one thing to get another thing. That's my phone going off. I apologize. So technically, what I could do is I could make, I could just put this guy here and then put uh, him into an iron chest. I want to put him into an iron chest. I don't want to waste my iron that right now. And then you can make wooden chests. And once that's done, there it is. And we'll put the wood in there. We'll just clear all of this area a little bit here. So what he'll do is he'll just continue mine the stone for us. Um, the problem with those particular miners is that they use, you know, combustible fuel essentially. So, when the problem with that is, you know, you constantly have to fill them with combustible fuel, which is annoying because at one point you have to like, you know, go all the way around the map and do everything you can to find a, you have to like fill them all up manually or you know use some of your inserters to do it, which can be a pain sometimes. So I'm just clearing off some of this wood around here so I can actually use it as fuel. And uh, I'm going to have to clear this off eventually, so it's not a big deal one way or another. All right, there we go. What I'll do is I'll fill it up with wood and make sure that gets filled up with stone because see how much faster that was able to mine that stone than I was? All right, so let's go over here. And I feel like I should be able to sprint. So eventually what we'll do is we'll have conveyor belts and they'll just be able to convey, oh, convey, move the stuff for us automatically. All right, how are these guys doing? Good, so let's take out the coal from there and there. And this guy is making this, perfect. And let's grab this over here. So we have a good little supply of stuff. And can we make one of these? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and make one of those because, and then what we'll do, the lab, what that essentially does is it allows us to research things. So here's the research tab, and we can't research anything because we don't have a lab. Uh, but first, one of the very first things we want to research is this guy right here is automation, which is the assembly machine. And the assembly machine, what it does is it assembles things for you, which is awesome. And it makes your life a lot easier. Uh, so what I want to do, let's go ahead and make five of these. Um, it makes your life a lot easier because once you have something building something for you, it just makes your life, you know, so much easier. Because eventually you, what happens is like, for example, so see, I can actually make these research, uh, I don't even call them flasks, in my, in my pocket. But the problem with that is, oh, this needs electricity, doesn't it? Whoops. Guess I shouldn't have focused on that first. Ah, uh, well. Uh, so let's make some boilers. So we need to make boilers and let me think there's a certain ratio for boilers to steam engines and let's see where do i want to put this so one of the things that's kind of interesting about this game is you kind of have to have a little bit of um a little bit about of uh so see how that's far reach how awesome that is um a little bit about planning so because of the way this is set up i probably uh, where's a good spot? Let's say we put the power over here somewhere on this side going down I can actually fill up some of this area eventually anyway, so uh, Yeah, right here is probably a good place to start so what we want is an offshore pump and we want uh, 14 boilers uh, 14 so let's see Let's just do all 13 of those and we probably need more uh, More iron to make another one Yes, actually it's stone, that's what we need. 
So that's the reason why you make, <laughs> you have these things doing this for you. Um, we'll grab this cool. So eventually what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna put electric, um, uh, let's make one of these while we're waiting. I'm gonna make electric drills and electric everything basically. So you don't have to constantly go and fill things up. Like they're running right now for the time being, it's not so bad. Um, but what will happen eventually is, like this guy's gonna run out of fuel at some point. There you go. And uh, what will happen eventually is you won't be able to do anything without filling these things up, which is a pain. All right, so we needed one more boiler and we need one more steam engine. So what we'll do is, let's put the offshore pump over here. Uh, the problem with this is gonna be kind of far away. We can move it eventually. Uh, let's say right here is a good place to start. And just for the starting sake, we will go like this. That's 14 and that's the steam engine. So what will happen is we need to make some power poles now, and we can't because we don't have any wood, of course. Luckily, our starting area has a lot, quite a bit of wood, which is good for us because, you know, for the starting area, it's nice to have a little bit of wood, but eventually it gets really annoying because you have to clear the wood, and that is one of the more annoying things because, like, you have to clear the wood manually sometimes. Eventually, there are some automatic ways you can do it, but um, it can be a little annoying. Let's just say that. All right, so let's go ahead and just create all those power poles because so we'll need them eventually. All right, good. So now we have a little bit of electricity come in. And what we'll do is, can we make any miners yet? Uh, no, we need some more iron. Of course, it's always, this is the battle you end up, always end up having to do. You need more iron, you need more of this, which is part of the game, right? Uh, these guys are done. Let's go ahead and grab that so they can continue and here we go. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, start right here. So you need to have a power pole hooked up to your steam. So but basically this is like, you know, very old school type of creating electricity. Uh, so you have your boilers, which heat up the water, putting into a steam engine, which is what creates electricity. And that's it, basically. That's how it works. Uh, so one of the cool things about this is I can just run with my power poles now and just hold down my left mouse button and that'll do what I just did there. Uh, so let's go ahead and create one miner like this. So that's an electric miner. And eventually what you'll do is, uh, that's good. And we need electricity. Oh, so we can just put up this, uh, where's that guy there? Put him right here. And what do we want to research? We want him to research automation so we can make some stuff for us. So we made some of these in our pocket, so we'll put some of those in there and can we make any more? Sure, let's make the rest of these. So as you can see, I can make them manually. I can do it right now, but you can make an automation machine which makes your life so much easier. And one, and... Perfect. So that's gonna research that for us. Now what we could do is we could make a second one, but we don't have the resources at the moment. So it's always a constant battle of resources. Like you'll find out eventually you're like, okay, you're like, well, I need this. And then you're like, ah, we don't have any more of that. And then it's just a whole cycle, which is part of the fun actually. In my mind, at least. So see, so I made those, I made 20 of those power poles and now I'm like done with them already. I can't make any more. Uh, we could make some more of this research. Uh, let's maybe do five more grab some more stone over here so we can make some more boiler or steam engines because we're going to need them eventually how's this guy doing in fuel oh not too bad we'll top him up but this long reach it's so epic for like doing what i just did right there like normally you'd have to run all the way over there but i totally forgot i could do that and uh, you get used to playing the game in a certain way uh, i need some more of these and last one so as you can see, the automation is going very slowly. Eventually you can make it go quicker, but one step at a time, I guess, right? And he's out of fuel, so let's put some of that in there. And he's got some more iron plates for us. We still need some more iron. So this is where having this system in place. So we do we have, uh, yeah, so let's make two of those. And so there we go. So now we have assembly machine one. I want assembly machine two because you can do like nothing with assembly machine two. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Uh, I need these. Uh, where is it? 
I totally forget which one it is. Is it this one? Yes, this one. So I need requires electronics. So let's go ahead and research electronics then. Uh, so what we can do is there's like not very much you can do with like with some things. It's ridiculous. All right, so let's go ahead and place these uh, over here because these are miners and they're much more efficient and they don't require me to refuel them all the time. Uh, so let's just take that out for the time being, take that out for the time being, and then we'll place uh, this so you can rotate uh, the items with R, and now they need electricity, and then we'll just run down here, and you can you can place things on this if you want to. There you go. So now we should see these working away, which is good. So can we make any conveyor belts? Yes, we can. Good. Let's go ahead and make some of those. And all right, so the conveyor belts, the way it works is just like that. So see how it puts it onto a belt. And now you have iron ore on a belt. Pretty simple, right? Uh, so what we'll do for now is we will do, I don't know, like this. And we'll make, I don't know, two inserters. So these ones are, there's like burner inserters, you use fuel to insert things, and then you have inserters, which use electricity, and then you have long handle, and there's a whole bunch of random inserters you can get eventually. So, so the problem with this is now, I still have to put the fuel in here. And then you can have another one up here, taking the plates out. Let's go ahead and just get this tree here perfect and yeah, I should be able to make there we go make a this very good and eventually what will happen is you'll have uh, so you can put that box there and then you can put that straight into there pretty simple stuff and that's how it kind of works in that scenario so this is probably isn't the fastest start so see how these are working faster than this guy can work so what you eventually will need is more, more of everything, basically. More of everything. All right, so let's grab this while we're here. So this is where you, this is where the planning comes in play, because like if you just you know play without kind of planning, what will happen eventually is you'll get to a point where you're like, okay, I don't know where I want to put this. I don't know where to put this, and you get into a situation where you're like, uh. Where do I put these things? I should have uh, made an automation assembly machine, which would have made some of the stuff for us. Oh well, say I love you, right? Perfect. So the guys are running still. The stone guy's probably running still. Uh, we can go over there. So normally, what happens is you'll get eventually you'll get like biter attacks and stuff like that. But I have it set up so I won't really ever get that. Uh, he's still running. It looks like. Uh, where is he? I can't see him now. I know he's there somewhere. Oh, no. Oh well, not a big deal. I don't need the stone quite yet. So, let's go ahead and come over here. So now as you can see, one of the problems I'm going to run into now is uh, these guys are going to run out of fuel. So if I put this steam engine here, oops, if I put the steam engine there, uh, what's going to happen is he's going to need fuel, but I don't have any fuel going over here, so I'll need to deal with that momentarily. So, anyways, I think this is a good place just to start to stop for the time being. What I'll do is a little bit of I'll do a little bit of off-camera work, and then you guys can come back, and I'll bring you back, and I'll show you the progress thus far, uh, and then we'll go from there. So, anyways, folks, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoy this first episode of Factorio. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that. Subscribe button for some more Factorio on Friday. My name's Ian Robson. Catch you guys later.